How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil in the Blanks and welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario World 2 Another World, whatever it's called, I don't know. Probably learned the name of the game. Oh, it's very cool. We're in World 2, it's like a beach type level. We also uncovered the secret entrance to World 3, but we're gonna do this in order. So why not? It's so unsure sure. Oh, this is very cool. You do not see beach levels in a Mario game, which is a huge shame. Like, why not? One of those things I really don't like about Mario games, recent 2D Mario games, is that it's very, like, you gotta follow the, you know, the usual, it's, it's gotta have this type of level, it's grass, desert, blah blah blah, and I hate that. One of the things I liked about Mario World was that they didn't follow those preconceived, damn, uh, preconceived, like, level themes, I guess. There actually weren't a lot of themes in, uh, Mario World, I guess. Here's this island, those donut planes. You had the cave, bridge, forest, chocolate, I guess. It was interesting. Ah, damn it. How does that not hurt you by just carrying it into your face? Oh, whatever. I definitely don't want to get hit by these fishies, Rip Van fishies. No! Get near them, they wake up. And it's super frustrating. Oh yeah, I, I can wall jump. I totally forgot about that. And I'm not going. I'm not even touching that down there. The rip and fish in there. Thank you. Ah shit! So the green ones shoot twice. I should pay attention to that. Nice. I love. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, I'm good. That's not at all worth it for me. My love with ROM hacks, whenever I get to see something new that's not in the original game, it's the point of ROM hacks to me. Seeing something special that's not in the original game. Something right there? Really made it seem like there'd be something right there. Oh, whatever. Nope. Get away from me. And down here? Yep. Another star coin. Or star coin. Dragon coin. I don't know what happens when you get all five in a single level. I don't think I have, I've done that so far in this playthrough, which is fine. If it's just lives, then I don't really need to worry about it. Well, damn. Oh, come here. No! Shit. Will you come back? Ah, I really want you. Can I jump on you instead, the fish? Come on, fish, and jump on you. Nope, that was so dumb. Well, that sucks. I do not know what's up there. That was Yoshi. Shit! I don't think this was a red level either, so I don't think it would have a secret exit. Might have. What's up here? Nice. I gotta remember that I can wall jump. It's like a brand new thing in this, so... Shoot, get away from me. Get away from me. Anything there? Okay. End of level? Levels seem to be like an adequate amount of uh, time, too. Like, whoops, that was stupid me. But like, they're, they're not super long, which is great. But I, I just, I really like the extra graphics. Like, that background looks very nice. And I never can tell if it's, like, taken from something or that's made for this game, you know what I mean? Oh, underwater level. Big Bad Bass. No, it's Big Bad Bass. <laughs> Big Bad Bass, just music this whole time. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. From Mario 3. Probably eats me. Yeah, there we go. He'll come back, though. It's probably a timer. And if the game's like, oh, he's been, yeah, it's been never five seconds to bring him back. Come here. There we go. Achoo. I'm gonna try to see if I can get all the dragon coins this level. Shit. I think his name is Big Bertha, actually, in, in Mario 3. I'm not sure if that's the case here. I don't think that graphics... Yeah, that graphics from Mario 3. Mario All-Stars, Mario 3. Eh. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Wow, he comes back fast. Hello. Oh, wow. Uh. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, no. No, I'm good. I am quite good. Thank you. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Eh. Okay, cool. I could get to see the dino. The dino rhinos. Ah! 
Damn it. Dino Rhinos and Dino Torches. They're in so few levels in the original game. Mario World is weird. There's a lot of good ideas, but you see them so rarely sometimes. A little frustrating, but whatever. Um, so, let's talk about my thumbnails for a second. I need to cut them to kind of get old, you know, long and old. No, I'm just joking. My video thumbnails. Um, this might not actually be happening, so I have no idea. But I've been trying to be consistent with my thumbnails ever since I started the channel, I guess. Um, ever since I made that kind of blue background with all the game controllers, I've been using that as like my background with the name of the game and uh, maybe a graphic or something. Uh, lately, I've been trying to be a little bit more, um, I guess, more complex. I guess I'll have like a, a full picture with like a gradient that turns into the blue. Uh, I don't know. And if you've ever noticed, you probably have if you are on my channel. My red, uh, but it's blue if it's a let's play, and it's um, red if it's a uh, a quickie. And NPCs have like a blue sometimes. I don't know. NPCs have been really not. Oh, it does have the key anyways. It just tells me that it's there, I guess. Okay, water anyways. Um, I've been inconsistent with my NPC thumbnails. Um, I wasn't sure what to do for this game because it's like, I want to draw attention to it because it's a ROM hack. Like, I'm not really sure what to do, how to do that. It's very cool looking. Can hit by those? Good. Um, and... Is that Crash Bandicoot again? I can't tell. I'm using very quiet on my TV to make sure that the mic doesn't pick it up, so I don't have a headset. So. Um, but yeah, I wasn't sure what to do with that. And I was like, maybe I'll make the, the background green? I don't know. I don't know if I actually ended up doing that. Uh, I'm still in my first session of recording, and I haven't made the thumbnail yet, but I don't know. If I did make it green, question of the day, what do you guys think, I guess? Can I not go up here? How do I get into that pipe? Why is there a pipe there? It's bothering me. Oh, whatever. Um, because I'm just not sure if that works or not. If I should do ROM hacks and whatnot. Because I debated that with a randomizer, too. Because it's like, it's not really a quickie. It's not really a let's play. It's, it's also, like, different. And I wasn't sure what to do. Good news is, though, like, I can change it. I can change thumbnails at any time. I did that with a few of my early games. Um, like, my original... Uh, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, and Kirby Superstar Let's Plays were just not at all what they look like now. And that was like when I started getting an actual, like, um, what does this do for me? Oh, there you go. Um, when I started getting more specific, like, I had a brand, I guess. I don't know if I call it a brand, but I had a very specific thing what my thumbnails were supposed to be. Then I changed the, th the older game thumbnails. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll make this green. Maybe I won't. Maybe you don't care. I mean, it's probably something that only I care about anyways. Because my, my thumbnails are not the type of things that are getting views. Like, they're not the type of thing that you see in your recommended. And you're like, whoa, this guy's content looks great. I think the only thing that I've ever done that got people to watch my thing was, was my Final Fantasy VII ending rant. And that probably had to do with, you know, the fact that it was about Final Fantasy VII, so. I don't know. What do you guys think, I guess? Or just in general, what do you think of my thumbnails? Should I change them just in general? Like, maybe they're not very good. Maybe you don't like them. Something down there. I don't want to risk it, though. I don't want to risk going underneath the, uh, the screen, just in case. Eh. To me, I, I don't know. I, I get annoyed by the usual thumbnails on YouTube. Because, like, my whole thing about my, my, uh, my thumbnails is that I'm trying to make them so that you understand what you're getting yourself into, what you're going to watch. This is a let's play of a game. This game, let's play part one, blah, blah, blah. And I find a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, cool. I guess it has the um, railings at the top. I can go upwards. And the railings at the bottom, I can go downwards. Um, nowadays, it's just, it's it's a picture and it's just, it's messy. And there's maybe a text and it's just like, what is this game? And it'll be like, that'll be the let's play for a guy who's being really bad at a Kaiser game. And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't want to say it's because like I'm better than that, because I'm not, because I'm not a successful YouTuber. Which is like, I don't know. My viewers deserve a little bit more than just a very generic title with a very generic thumbnail that doesn't tell them anything at all what's happening. But I guess that's what catches people's eyes. So, I don't know, maybe that's what I should be doing. Oh yeah, so if I got five dragon coins, I just get the one up. So, mystery solved. 
Not much of a mystery, but whatever. And I did miss the secret exit. I just realized that. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder where it was. Kind of want to go back. But I might do that stuff on my own time, too, so. I don't want to go through, like, especially water levels. You know, what? There's... I'm trying to think of a thing where, like, I couldn't get to a place. Oh, right. Yeah, there was a blocked... It was a blocked, um, pipe. How would I get there? Oh, whatever. Sandcastle Shores. Wow, these are short levels. It looks like there's just a few levels, like four or five levels per world, because there's a World 2's castle already. Ah, cool. I like that a lot. Oh, it's like got, like, the closest thing to, like, the classic mark. Oh, cool! Money moles and they shoot stuff at you, and then I kill it by mistake. Whoops. The sunset looks really cool. I like the sandcastle. Oh, that was very nice. I like this a lot. This game's got a lot of style to it. Definitely got style points. For days. Ah, come on, Phil. Um, oh, bombable wall, I bet. Oh, maybe not? I don't know. Looks like it'd be a bombable wall. Like, those look like little bombs. Fire, maybe? Come on, shoot a fireball at me. Or, not fireball, bomb. I know you can do it. I've seen you do it before. Maybe you? No? Hmm. Anything down here? Oh, yes, there is. Okay, good. Haha! -ha. Yay. Secrets. Ooh. Oh, dang. That was stupid of me. Eh. There, see? You throw bombs. But does he always throw bombs? Yes, kids. Okay, that one always throws bombs. Hmm. Now I'm all curious. That's the problem with, like, a ROM hack. It's like, oh, did you get the secret stage? Like, or secret exit? Like, well, I didn't know how to because it used a new mechanic that maybe I didn't know about. Um, is there anything over here? Oh, no, okay. And midpoint. The little yellow things with, like, the... I don't know. It looked like eyes, I guess. They, they certainly look like they'd be bombable. So, I'm going to assume that they are. I'm try to see if I can make that happen. Yeah, there we go. This will teach me. Come on. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Why aren't they shooting bombs, though? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna see. Maybe it is random. I just got really lo weirdly lucky with that guy who shot two bombs in a row. Yeah, I guess it's random. All right, well, that makes sense. Excuse me. Oh, just cleared that. Can I hit it? No, okay, so I can't catch it. What's the point of this just little area? Just, here you go, here's six coins. Woo, six coins. You're very cute, Monty Mole. The thing is, you never know, right? Like, it just might be a like a secret down there that, I don't know, you duck at the sandcastle. It's the thing about ROM hacks, you just never friggin' know with some of this stuff. Eh. Yay. Definitely enough time to beat this world, too. If we beat this world and I got some time, I might go back and actually look for that. That secret exit again. Plus, we want to go back to world three. Four, because this will probably bring me to world four. Hotel Motel. Jeez, great music. Ah! I love the idea of a beach resort world, which is, seems to be what this was all about. Oh, jeez. Oh, cool. That's very cool. I like that a lot. Ooh, some slowdown, though. What's gonna happen, you know? Maybe nothing here? No. No, nothing here. Ah, God. So he's still, like, throwing the bombs and stuff, but they're disguised as, like, beach balls. Oh! Did that have different... Did that have different, um... Death music? I'm dying on purpose. Oh, cute! It's got, like, a little marimba and a little splash of the sea. Oh, wow, that's really cool. A lot of work put into this. Holy crap. 
Very, very interesting. Very well done. Now please give me a power up. Thank you. Okay, excuse me. Up here now. This is just really well done, I must say. Ah, shit. I'm not super good at the uh, wall jumps yet. I like, I like how untraditional this uh, fortress is, just in general. Because, again, that's that's one of those things where, like, I don't understand why Nintendo's being so, like... I get that there's tradition. I, I, I super understand that. I'm actually one of those people where it's like, I don't want things to change too much. But it's like, why not change things up like this? This is why I think Yoshi's Island is so good and well-received. Because it's like a Mario game, sure, but, like, it tries its own things. Oh. And I think that's why I want people like Wario Land games for a while, too. Because it was trying new things. Damn it, whoa. Oh, it's the wall sliding that makes things a little wonky. That must be why um, I, I went through that wall and killed myself last episode. Oh, shit. Can I just jump on you? Okay, cool. Oh. That's weird. What's... Okay, what? Why can't I go in these doors? Unless they're, you know, it is a hotel. I just don't have the keys for everything because, you know, this is where the guests are staying. I have no idea. But yeah, no, Mario... The, when the new Super Mario Bros. Came, games came out, it was, like, cool because it was, like, new 2D Mario games. I adore 2D Mario games. When then, when, like, every friggin... They all felt so alike. I mean, they're good. They're really well done and well-made games. But they're not... They're not pushing the boundaries at all. Like, they don't try new things. They don't try to be like, interesting, I guess. And that's a huge shame. Because I, I still think there's a lot to do with 2D Mario games. I think Mario Maker showed that off, too. Oh, that's some slowdown. Um, damn. That was... Slowdown screwed me up. Uh, the Mario Maker games really show that there are things you can do with 2D Mario games. And not just, like, what... Um, other people were making, which, you know, obviously was amazing, but even just what they were including, like, we never saw things like Goombas floating in midair and things like that. Uh, I don't know, all the fun little extras they put in there. So, why not, like, make a new 2D Mario game that's, that's breaking all the boundaries, breaks all the rules that we're so used to seeing in 2D Mario games? I just don't think you'll see that, which is a huge shame. I still don't understand why I can't go in here. It looks like it says something, too. I can't read it. Like, E-D-I block. I have no idea. But yeah, I, I love... That says... E-D-N? Oh, well, whatever. I don't think it matters. Maybe it does. Maybe it's a puzzle of some sort. But yeah, I want to see a new 2D Mario game that's truly trying to be its own unique thing. Please. I'd love to see that. Mario deserves more than just, this is the way the Mario games always were. We're never going to change that. Bye. And something a little bit more than just now four players can play at the same time, which is very cool. Doesn't affect me, though. I don't know. Like, I love that this is its own unique idea. It's just very cool. Now, come on, Phil. Wall jumping is not that hard. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, my God. I'm doing so poorly. Okay, good. I just want to see if there's anything down here now, too. Okay, whew. I do like all this wall jumping. I think that makes a lot a lot of sense for a new 2D Mario game. There we go. Anything in here? No. Oh, thank God. Yay! I've been dying a lot in this level. Sorry about that. Three? Oh, these are the floors. I guess that makes sense. It is a hotel, after all. Oh, nice. Boomerang Brother. Yeah, the traditional Hammer Brothers were not in the original Mario World. There was the amazing Flying Hammer Brother, but there were not regular Hammer Brothers, which is very weird. I never noticed that when I was a kid. It was like until, like, I don't know, I was a teenager. I was like, wait a second. There's no traditional Mario, or, um, Hammer Brother in this game. And then it made it really crazy when um, they weren't in, when they were Mario Maker and they looked all different. And I was like, they had to make their own sprite. That makes sense. It's the point they didn't use that for this game. 
know what I mean? Like, instead they just ported the Mario 3 one. It'd be cool if they used the Mario Maker sprite. And floor four, I guess? Just kill you with fireballs, why not? Alright, this must be it. Let's see what they offer a boss this time. Oh! Claw Grip from friggin' Mario 2! Can I pick those up? Oh, you can! Eh. Oh, dang. This is interesting. I mean, it's not like going insane in terms of, like, program- or, uh, I guess program wouldn't be that hard, I guess. But, like, it's not, like, a bonkers idea or anything, but still pretty cool. I mean, I'm still having fun with it, so... Oh, dang. You can't, also can't take any damage from which is kind of weird. Oh, there we go. Alright, well, that was a lot of fun. So instead of continuing on wherever it's going to lead us, which is probably World 4, we're going to actually go back and do World 3, which we actually kind of skipped over. So, first let's see where it goes. Just up here. Very cool. But we shall not be there. We shall not be going there. We will be going over to World 3. I might actually just check out 2, how to get the secret exit in watery ways. But anyways, I'm Phil Blanks, and I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.